Hello, and welcome back to BCBAMockExam.com. In this video, we will be delving into Section B01 of the 5th edition of the BCBA task list, which focuses on defining and providing examples of behavior, response, and response class. Understanding these concepts is crucial for behavior analysis practitioners and it will greatly contribute to your exam preparation. These videos aim to guide you towards more smooth preparation for the BCBA exam. After watching the videos, you will gain a more in-depth and comprehensive understanding of what makes up the exam, and you will definitely have a better chance of passing it. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive free learning materials from us to further assist you in preparing for the exam. There are 11 topics in the section B and we will be making one video to discuss each topics making it all together 11 videos to cover the whole program. Let's start by defining behavior. Behavior refers to any observable and measurable action or activity of an individual. It includes both overt behaviors, which are directly observable, such as walking, talking, or writing, as well as covert behaviors, which are private events like thinking or feeling. Behavior can be analyzed and studied to understand its functions and the variables that influence it. For instance, in daily life, let's consider the behavior of brushing your teeth Brushing your teeth involves specific actions such as picking up the toothbrush, applying toothpaste, and moving the brush in a specific motion. These observable behaviors collectively make up the behavior of brushing your teeth. Now, let's move on to responses. A response is a specific instance of behavior that occurs in a particular situation or context. It refers to an individual's particular action or reaction at a given moment. Responses are the building blocks of behavior and can be directly observed and measured. In a daily life example, imagine you are having a conversation with a friend and they ask you a question. Your verbal response, such as answering the question by speaking, would be considered a specific response in that interaction. Now, let's shift our focus to a clinical example. Suppose you are working with a child diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. During therapy sessions, you present the child with a picture card and ask them to identify the object depicted on the card. The child's verbal response such as saying cat when shown a picture of a cat, would be a specific response in this context. Lastly, we have response classes. A response class refers to a group of responses that share similar functions or effects. These responses may not look identical, but they serve the same purpose or produce similar outcomes. Analyzing response classes helps behavior analysts understand the broader patterns and categories of behavior. To illustrate this, let's consider a response class related to social interaction. Within this class, responses may include smiling, waving, making eye contact, or saying greetings. Although these responses may differ in their specific form, they all serve the function of initiating or maintaining social interactions. In summary, behavior refers to observable and measurable actions or activities. Responses are specific instances of behavior, and response classes are groups of responses that share similar functions or effects. And that's all for today's video. See you next time. Visit our website for study guide and exam practice and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for free exam questions and discount coupons.